Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86 Gaming. Real quick, we're going to be taking a look at the Moto Speed Inflictor keyboard. It's 104, which is a full key keyboard, a mechanical keyboard with Otima Blue switches, and it's probably one of the coolest little pickups I've found for the price. And it's here at the Princess PC Workstation where she does some of the video editing and some of her own work as well as play games. As you can see, that's what's pulled up. Playing games is usually what she does. Anyways, let's roll into this video, try to keep it under five minutes, make it a quick look video, and we'll check out the Moto Speed Inflictor mechanical gaming keyboard, see if it's worth it for you. Uh, under 50 bucks, so there'll be links in the description below. Some models cost a little bit more. The white one we paid like six dollars more for, so over 50 bucks. But, anyways, it's really cool. Let's get into it, check it out, and see what you think. So, the question is with mechanical keyboards, what is it to you that is important? Because a lot of people are looking to save money, but then there's a lot of people that'll throw money out there just to get everything that they can. I don't think that that's always necessary, and this is an excellent example. While this is an OEM design that's used by several companies, like KK Moon, a keyboard I reviewed not too long ago, if you check that out. Uh, this is a simple extension of that. This is the full 104 keyboard and this one's brought to you by Moto Speed. There's nothing fancy on the back whatsoever. No cable management. All the keys are kind of compact and close together. You have your riser feet on the back and rubber pads on them. Rubber pads in the front to help keep it from sliding around. It's got a great weight. It's very durable. And it's uh, actually a really comfortable to use keyboard. I was a little surprised because as you can see, it may look a little narrower than one you're used to, but it's nice. The rose gold plate right there in the back is part of the aluminum design which gives it some extra weight and on top of that makes it feel very durable. The light switches, they're a little bit raised so you can kind of see the LEDs going around it. That might not be your user preference but I don't mind it, I like it. And for the person that's going to be using it, she really likes that as well. A lot of the cool features about this keyboard are that it comes with pre-programmed settings already. There's no graphical user interface, there's nothing fancy to use. You simply use insert and delete with the M1 and M2 keys on it and there's a user manual that does come with it to kind of walk you through and explain how to swap through lighting features. There are I think nine different lighting features with six different LED lights in the background so it's not an RGB keyboard while it may appear to be. As you can kind of see here it's not as fluid as an RGB keyboard would be, it just rotates through those six lights. Now. When it comes to using it, it's great. Now, the Otemu switches that they do use on this board are a little louder than usual, so that can come to be a surprise for some people. These are blue Otemu switches, which may be the loudest mechanical switches I've ever used on any keyboard anywhere, and that's something that should be noted, that even if you're used to blue switches, which I'll compare to my Kale Blue switches on the Gamdius keyboard here, these are much louder switches. That's just something to keep in mind in case you're somebody that doesn't want the loud blue switches. These are like extra loud blue switches. I'll be quiet here in just a second so that you can listen to the comparison I do between the Kale Blue switches and these switches. So as you could hear there, the microphone was actually measured the same distance away on both keyboards and you could definitely tell that the Otemu blue switches are much louder than Kale blue switches, than the top of blue switches, than Cherry blue switches. If, you, if you've ever heard the Cherry blue switches, they're probably more of the quiet as the blues, Kale's being a little louder. This right here, just going through some quick of the lighting functions right here, we hit function and we hit the M1 button to change through the nine different functions that you have. You can change your speeds up and down with the arrow keys in. Likewise with the lighting, if you want it to be dimmer, you can go up and down uh, using the down arrow or up arrow and just change through functions, find colors you like and just simply kind of find something that's good for you that works for you as well. You can also make a gamer profile, only one that I know of at a time because there's no way to save them elsewhere on the keyboard, but you can have a profile and she has one set up for Paladins, a game I reviewed that we've been playing. So there's that for you. If you want multiple though, you might want to look elsewhere. Guys, thank you so much for watching, being a part of this channel. Don't forget, you got a few more days, and by a few more days, like two weeks by the time I post this, for the giveaway. If you haven't seen the giveaway, check the description down below. I'll put it in there. You guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever it is. And on a side note, those of you that use my Amazon link and then go shopping, that means a lot to me. It supports me. It helps me out so that I can make better content and get more projects to work on. I just want to say thank you to those of you who do that. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful night, day, whatever it is. I'll see you in the next video that I do.